Let's tilt our lenses to the latest development beyond our borders in our subsequent international news roundup prepared by Abdul Somad Mahmoud, voiced by Dor- um, I mean Doris Chalo. Let's take a look. In Brazil, a tragic plane crash has claimed the lives of all 61 people on board. The aircraft operated by Vopas crashed northeast of Sao Paulo. Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva expressing his condolences and declaring three days of national mourning. I'm informed that a plane has just crashed in Vinhedo in Sao Paulo with 57 passengers and four crew members and it appears that they all died. So I would like everyone to stand up so that we can observe a minute of silence. In an official statement, Vopas Airlines reports that all 57 passengers and four crew members on flight 2283 perished and that they are working closely with authorities to determine the cause of the accident. In Ukraine, a Russian missile strike on a shopping mall in Costa Vega has resulted in at least 14 deaths and 43 injuries. The Ukrainian Prosecutor General's Office has condemned the attack as a targeted act of terror. This assault marks the second major attack in the town within a year. The UN's Human Rights Monitoring Mission reports that July was the deadliest month for Ukrainian civilians since October 2022. In Gaza, an Israeli airstrike on a school shelter has resulted in a high number of casualties. The Israeli military claimed that target was a Hamas command center. Gaza's civil defense agency reports that between 90 to 100 people have been killed, with many more injured. The attack occurred while people were sheltering and performing down prayers. Doris Chalo, KUTV.